Good evening. Welcome to Tucker Carlson. Tonight, Donald Trump ran on the promise that he would secure our southern border when he ran in 2016. He ran on other things, too, trade Obamacare, ending the Iran deal. But it was immigration that resonated. No other candidate was saying anything like it. Voters loved it. That's why they yelled, build that wall at his rallies. More than two years later, we have less control, though, over immigration into this country than we did the day Trump launched his campaign. Entire populations from Latin America are moving north. In February, authorities apprehended 76,000 illegal arrivals at the Mexican border. By last month, that number had ballooned to 100,000. They are coming because they know that they can come. Our current system can't stop them. If illegal immigrants show up here with children, they're almost certain to be released into the United States. They will never be deported. Close to 100 percent of children and families detained at the border last year are still here. It's a scam. Before 2013, only 1 percent of aliens arriving at the U.S. border sought asylum based on credible fear in their home countries. Now, more than 10 percent do. They know the script. Even CNN can't lie about it anymore. Yesterday, to his credit, one of their anchors went to the border and talked to people trying to cross illegally into the U.S. Watch this conversation. It's the most honest thing that's run on CNN in a long time. Why did he take his kid with him to come here if it's just to work? ¿Por qué se trajo usted a su hijo si usted viene a trabajar? Porque si eh, eso está que si uno viene con el menor, a uno le dan permiso. Si no, yo hubiera ido para Honduras. Hubiera estado tres, cuatro meses preso y hubiera ido para Honduras. It's what you and I were talking about. He says that if he comes here with his son, then he's allowed to stay. He, he thinks. Otherwise, quiero, he thinks he's allowed to he stay. He thinks he's allowed. Who told him that? ¿Quién le dijo eso? No, eso es en todo el país. Eso es una noticia. Pero yo una, no pero, pero, pero esa es noticia que se dice de persona en persona. Eh, eh, lo dicen los coyotes. Los coyotes. Los coyotes. Los coyotes. Coyotes. Smugglers. Word of mouth. Smugglers are telling them, you bring your kid, you can get in. If he comes here with his son, then he's allowed to stay. Our current political class has spent years pretending that is not true. In villages across Central America, they know it is true. Come to America, bring your kids, free schools, free health care, higher wages. They can't kick you out. If you lived in Honduras, you'd come here, too. We're begging them to come here. No wonder our immigration out is, is out of control. They know that we are happy to give our country away as we are. Our lawmakers are allowing this to happen. They could close the loopholes that allow it in about an hour, but they haven't done that. They likely won't do it. They show no interest in the effects this invasion is having on normal Americans. The suppressed wages, the stolen identities, the clogged emergency rooms and failing public schools, the fentanyl crisis. They don't care. The Chamber of Commerce tells us that everything is fine. Just yesterday, they attacked the White House for even suggesting we might have to shut down the border to protect the country. Guacamole prices might rise. Democrats, meanwhile, rejoice in the scale of this disaster. More illegal immigration means more power for them. They're actively for it. Everyone running for the Democratic nomination agrees on this. If you could, would you take the wall down now? Here. Yes. Like you have a wall. Absolutely. Like, knock it down. Offer a home to refugees. That is who we are. That's our values. That's part of what we do. So instead of building a wall or closing the border, we should choose compassion instead of cruelty. We welcome refugees and bring people out of the shadows. Spending as a down payment, $5.7 billion on a wall is not an effective use of tax dollars when we talk about border security. There are better ways to do it. Immigration is not a security issue. It is an economic and a humanitarian and a family issue. There is no such thing as an illegal human. There's no such thing as an illegal human, says a sitting United States senator. So no, Congress is not going to fix this. Our big cities won't help. They're all sanctuaries for illegals now. The courts aren't helping. It's not their job to protect the border anyway. It's the job of the executive branch. It always has been. So how are they going to fix this?